Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today we are cooking breakfast and for breakfast this morning we are cooking loaded grits. Yep, I don't know if you ever heard of it but yeah, it's just something I made up when I fixed this a, a while back. So yeah, just gave it the name of loaded grits because it's going to be grits. As you guys can see, we've got our Jim Dandy quick five minute grits. That's all they take too, five minutes. <clears throat> okay, and we got our Jimmy Dean heat and serve original sausage patties back there. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. All right, and we got some butter. I can't believe it's not butter. This is some really good butter, guys. Really good butter. It's like a healthier choice of butter, but you know what? It tastes good. It don't taste all healthy. That's what I like about it. So, anyway, and I got some leftover bacon here. And, of course, I got my uh, good old faithful Publix jumbo eggs over here. And yeah, we cooking for breakfast, loaded grits. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to get the eggs prepped. Um, I've got the sausage and bacon already in the oven cooking. So let's go ahead and get our eggs ready. I've already got my eggs cracked in here. I think I got quite a few eggs, however many eggs you want to have. But um, I've got quite a bit of eggs in here, two, three, Eight, nine. I think I got like nine eggs or something like that in here. One of my eggs had two uh, egg yolks in it. That was weird. But I've seen it before though. Alright, I'm just putting a little pepper in my eggs. Y'all know the star of the show. He gotta show up and show out. I might make her a sheet, child. I don't know. I might leave it to him. I don't know, child. Because he be tripping. But okay. Y'all know I love parsley, so I might let it be. I might let it stay here, child. Okay, so. Got my parsley in there all good. Alright, and I'm going to use some garlic pepper. Garlic pepper. Give you that garlic taste. Alright, so we got some parsley, garlic pepper, and a little ground pepper in there too. Just a little bit. Not too much. Because sometimes the garlic pepper has more garlic in it than pepper. That's why I added a little ground pepper, ground pepper to it. Alright, we've got our pan over there nice and hot, ready. She is ready over there. Let me put some milk in my eggs. Y'all know I'm going to put some milk in my eggs. Just a little bit. Not a, not a lot, just a little bit. Like a... I usually put like a teaspoon, two teaspoons, two teaspoons of milk in there. Get it all mixed up real good. Y'all seen me cook eggs a million times. I've cooked eggs a million times. Let me get y'all over here to the pan that's nice and hot over here. Because we got to prep everything. You guys will see. Take y'all in. Pan nice and hot. Go ahead and get those eggs cooked up. You guys go ahead and get everything cooked up. You guys will see how I cook my loaded, loaded grits. They gonna be loaded. Let me give y'all, okay, a good look at them eggs, sure. We gonna give them a few more minutes, let them bubble, bubble, bubble a little bit more. All right, let me get my seasons put away. I gotta show y'all my season cabinet one day. Child, please. I got all kind of stuff up here. Alright, so we got our bacon and sausage. Let me check on them. They looking good. Bacon and sausage looking good. Let's go ahead and get these eggs cooked up. Cut my heat down. You don't need to be cooking your eggs on high. It's just eggs. So I always cook my eggs at a medium heat. And I like using this little spatula. My little dollar spatula thing from the Dollar Tree. Because y'all know it's not Gotham. I'm not scratching my Gotham pans up. Got to take better care of your pans. 
Because you use those forks and stuff and they scrape up your pans and then your pans be looking all raggedy and scraped up. Got to use that wood or that plastic so it won't scrape up your pans. So, you got to preserve your stuff. Preserve and keep your stuff as long as you can. As much as I cook. Y'all see my pans. They're not all scratched up. So make sure y'all, if y'all want now, I'm just telling y'all. Just giving y'all tips on how I preserve my, my pots and my pans. I use a little plastic, the wood, if you want to use the wooden utensils or the plastic. I stay away from those forks. If I use my fork, because every blue moon I do use the fork. But um, it's, it's very rare though. But as you can see, my pan not all scratched up. See, no scratches in my pans. I may have one or two down there. But um, you want to preserve your pans. Preserve your pots and your pans. That's why I always line my pots with aluminum foil. That way they're not getting all burnt and black at the bottom of your pan. Line your pan with aluminum foil. Just giving you some tips that I use. This is what helps me preserve my cooking pots and pans. Use your plastic. Use your wooden utensils. Try not to use the metal because it scratches it up. Especially if you use non-stick pans like I do. It just scratches all that non-stick up. And then next thing you know, your pans ain't non-stick no more. And they all scraped up at the bottom. Looking a hot mess. I know. Been there and done that. So, that's what I learned. Alright, let me cut that heat off. Our eggs are nice and done. And as y'all can see, I'm using my spatula to chop them up. Because I want to chop them up. I don't want big pieces of egg. Chopping it all up. Okay. I'm going to let them sit there, get brown on that side. Then I'll flip them over. And that's it for the eggs you guys see simple scrambled eggs uh, you guys will see how the loaded grits will all come together so um, sausage and bacon in the oven that should be coming out soon I've got the egg scramble uh, next thing we're gonna do let's go ahead and get these grits ready okay guys um, my grits um, I got my water to boil in and I just poured my grits in Getting them stirred up real good. And as you guys can see, I've got my plastic spoon. And I got this plastic red spoon from the Dollar Tree. For a dollar. I mean, you know, it don't cost a lot to preserve your pots and pans. It don't cost a lot. So, got this from the Dollar Tree. Something simple. You ain't got to be all expensive. And we want to get these chunks of grits broken up. We don't want chunky, chunky grits. So... Got to make sure I get these chunks all broken up. Let me get my fork. So I can get these chunks broken up. I don't want chunky grids, so... I just take my fork like that and chop it up, get it back down in there. Anytime you got chunks, I mean it happens, just take your fork and just break them up and stir them back in there. Stir it back up. You just take your fork, smash them out, add them back to your grit mix. That's how you take care of those chunks in your grits. Nobody wants chunky grits. No, but it happens. So, this is how you deal with them. Just smash them out with your fork. That's it, that's all.
Take all your chunks out until they're nice and smooth. <clears throat> Keeping that fork away from my pot. I'm just using the fork to get the chunks up and smash them out. Okay, we got a couple more chunks. All right. Okay, so we got all our chunks out. Stirring this up. And I'm going to go ahead and cover this for five minutes. But now, this is what I'm going to do now. This is where I add my butter. This is where I add the butter to the grill. Because this is where I want to add that butter so my grits can get all nice and buttery. And I'm adding about... I don't know, maybe four tablespoons of butter. Because these are loaded grits. So we want them buttery. That's about four tablespoons of butter. Four tablespoons of butter. And while the grits are cooking, we want that butter in there. Let me make sure y'all can see. Oh, yeah, y'all can see. We want that butter in there too. So that butter can cook right on into our grits. Yes, that's what we want. Get your butter all mixed in real good. Ooh wee. Ain't nothing like butter grits. Ain't nothing like it. Getting that butter all mixed up. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. They smell all nice and buttery. Okay, now I gotta go ahead and get get my grits covered. The instructions say cover my grits for five minutes. Get my timer on. All right, we got our timer on for five minutes. Our grits are covered, and that butter's gonna get all cooked in there, all nice and juicy. They're gonna be all nice and buttery. But y'all wait and see what we gonna do with these grits these loaded grits i'm calling them loaded for a reason y'all y'all gonna see i'll be back okay guys our grits are done i wanted to bring y'all back and let y'all see they are all nice creamy and buttery and let me show you guys okay so now all right our time is going off okay so let me show you guys what we're gonna do next I've got my eggs back here all cooked. You guys saw me cook the eggs. Getting my eggs all chopped up. Adding our eggs to our grits. Adding all our eggs to the grits. We are going to load these grits up. Make sure y'all can see. Yep. Give y'all a better picture. Okay. Alright. So we've got our eggs dumped in there let me get those stirred up and I still have my grits at a low heat while I'm adding all this got our eggs in here don't forget we got that butter already in here all right okay so now I'm taking the sausage and I'm just cutting it up with some kitchen scissors. Cutting it up into our grits. Our tur and these sausages, these are turkey sausages. I think they are. Yeah, let me check. Let me make sure. Yeah. Nope, these are the regular sausages. I usually grab the turkey, but we like the regular ones too. It don't matter. Getting our breakfast sausage. As you guys see, I'm getting that breakfast sausage all cut up in there. Getting it all cut up in there, but I don't want to cut them too small. I want to leave them, you know, nice bite-sized uh, chunks of sausage. I don't want to cut it up too small. So, and you want to keep your heat low 
while you're stirring this all in together so that way you know everything kind of comes together and of course I just took these sausages out so they hot but y'all know I am a professional I am a professional I know what I'm doing All right, we almost finished. And you know what? Um, you can also put in here, guys. You can put hash browns. You can put potatoes in here. You can do all kinds of stuff. Put cheese in here. I'm not gonna put cheese in here because you know everybody want a different cheese. So I'm not gonna put cheese in here. That that never works for me. So I never add cheese because everybody likes different cheeses. So um, yeah, you can put hash browns in here, like cook hash browns and cut them up. Um, now we're cutting up the bacon, guys. You can put hash browns, you can put potatoes in here, cheese, you can use turkey sausage. Like you, you know, if you want to make it a healthier, healthier breakfast, you can use turkey, you know, whatever you want, whatever breakfast stuff you want to put in here, you can just add it in here. Loaded grits, guys, loaded. That means you loading it up with all kind of breakfast stuff. All kind of stuff. Getting it loaded up here with this bacon and sausage and eggs and that butter and them nice smooth hot grits. Oh, this is going to be good. Loaded grits. We loading up the grits. All right, so we got all our meat cut up. Let me get these cooking scissors rinsed off. And then we're going to go ahead and get everything all mixed up. Y'all see how it's looking. Oh yeah. That's looking real good. I'm going to go ahead and cut my heat off now. So I'm getting ready to mix everything up together. Get that water off. Look at that. Look at all that goodness. Y'all saw me put everything in there. Y'all saw me. Y'all saw the grits, the butter, the eggs, the bacon, the sausage loaded grits and just imagine if I had some potatoes I was gonna do potatoes but I was like nah I was like this is loaded enough but you know what you can put potatoes in here like I said potatoes hash browns oh lord look at that loaded grits loaded we have loaded the grits up get it all mixed in real good look at that chunks of bacon sausage eggs y'all can't tell me that don't look good y'all can't tell me that you can try but i ain't gonna believe you can't tell me that don't look good look at that and y'all already know y'all already know it's not a show without the star without the star -a. let me find my star -a up in this cabinet the star -a of the show our parsley y'all know our Dollar Tree Parsley. Y'all know? Watch this. Watch how he make everything better. Everything better. Look at it. Look at that. Look, I'm zooming y'all in. Y'all know I'm taking y'all. Look, look at the loaded grits. I'm trying to show y'all. Look at those loaded grits. We got the grits. Nice, soft, creamy grits. We got butter. We got eggs sausage bacon and like i said y'all can add whatever y'all want to hash brown potatoes but that's it y'all loaded grits you seen me do it so you know i did it y'all seen me do it now i was recording y'all saw all right guys that's our loaded grits thank you so much for watching this is arika misha don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social media guys at arika misha and don't forget knowledge is power all right guys bye